Hey guys, this is Nick with Phone Arena and fingerprint readers are so 2013. Okay, they're still very much relevant and reliable, but Samsung is looking into this new technology, iris scanners. Rumor has it that the Samsung Galaxy Note 7 is going to have an iris scanner to recognize its owner with. So let us explore how this new technology works. First of all, we should clarify that iris scanners and retina scanners are two different things. A retina scanner scans the inside of your eye. This means that the reading has to be performed from a really close distance. Just imagine how silly that would look on a smartphone. Iris scanners, on the other hand, recognize a person by looking at their iris. The iris is the part of your eye that determines its color. And since a reading of an iris can be done from a greater distance, having an iris scanner on a smartphone makes much more sense, it's more convenient. Now, if you look at your eye from really close, you will notice that the iris has these tiny lines and waves all over its surface. Together, these form a unique pattern. The iris scanner reads this pattern and translates it into code. This digital code is then compared against whatever is on database and if there is a match, you've been recognized. The iris scanner itself is kind of like a normal camera, but it is extra sensitive to near-infrared light. When your iris is being scanned, it is illuminated with this kind of light because it exposes the iris much better. The lines and waves are easier to read. Also, this allows the scanner to work in the dark and even if you're wearing glasses or contact lenses. Actually, that is part of the reason why normal cameras like the one in the front of your phone are not suitable for iris scans. They filter out infrared light very aggressively because it messes up with their photos. Besides, most front-facing cameras have a very wide angle of view. The iris scanner needs a narrow viewing angle to see your eyes more clearly and even at a distance. For the most part, this is how the iris scanner on the Galaxy Note 7 is expected to work. However, the front-facing camera may also be involved in the process. It could be used to detect the user's face and eyes. Once it knows where to look, the iris scanner will make a reading. But the million dollar question is, do we really need iris scanners on our phones? Well, most of us don't. Fingerprint readers are already fast, reliable and cheap. In fact, the iris scanners that we've tested are not better compared to a good old fingerprint reader. For example, the one on the Lumia 950 is slower and doesn't work if you're holding the phone too far away from your face. On the other hand, iris scanners can be seen as more secure. Just think about it, we leave fingerprints on every solid surface that we touch, so in theory, a fingerprint can be stolen. Now imagine taking a high-resolution photo of somebody's eye without them noticing. Besides, fingerprint readers do not work well when your finger is dirty or wet, so many would find the iris scanner more reliable. So in conclusion, we're not sure if the iris scanner on the Galaxy Note 7 is going to become an instant hit. But if enough people like it, then Samsung will make sure that the technology is perfected for use in future generation Galaxy products. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to never miss a video.